One of the next parts of a multimeter we're going to talk about is the inline amp function. That means that meter is going to go in line with the circuit. We're going to have to break the circuit and put it in line. That way whatever current that that device is pulling has to go through the meter. With that I can very, very accurately read how much current something pulls. One of the biggest questions you know, techs ask me at times is why would I ever need that? Well, what's that on there for? Well, a good example is you've got a truck that every Monday morning doesn't start. Well, usually that's one of two things. You either have a defective battery that's pulling all the batteries down, or you could have uh, devices staying on. And that may be something that's supposed to stay on, such as tracking system, communications, or it may be a light's not shutting off that's supposed to. Before you try to use your amp function, you gotta make sure you understand how to set your meter up. We're gonna go over here to our amp function, and we have to make sure we move the red lead to the right spot. We're always gonna start off on the high or the 10 amp function. I've got my meter set up. I can actually put it in the circuit right now and make sure what my parasitic load is or what my circuit load is. A Couple different ways to do it. First one is the most obvious. I'm just gonna pull my power wire off the junction stud. You take that, I can hook my meter up to one side since I've only got two hands, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my light on. And as soon as I touch this, it's gonna complete the circuit and my light should come on. And I can look at that and I'm basically pulling just a little over half an amp. The other way it's even easier is we can simply take our fuse out. Do the same thing, use our meter to complete it, take the place of the fuse. Exact same read, we did the exact same thing. This just sometimes can be easier to get to if you're dealing with a, a fuse panel or a circuit panel where you can get at it. Again, we talked about you know verifying our work. We have our multimeter plugged in here so we're completing the circuit, we see what our load is. If I shut it off, that load should totally disappear which it did, so we know there is nothing else on this circuit. If we did have something staying on, or again the example of that truck that has dead batteries every Monday, we can use this to verify we do have a load, but now we gotta go back through and find out where that load is. Just like it was very important before we did this test, we had to set up our meter properly, here's a big thing to keep in mind. Before you put your meter back up, turn it off, and move your meter lead back to the normal position. If you forget and you leave it in the amp meter function, first time you put it across the battery or positive or negative, you're gonna take out your fuse. Again, 12 to 15 bucks shot, simply because you forgot to reset your meter.